Thank you for joining us for the two-minute drills. I'm Aram Talijan, joined on my right by Fred J. Roboto and behind the camera, Steve Ramirez. Hello. Uh, you can set your clock to this, fans. Freddie, Stevie, you can set your watch, you can set your clock, you can set anything, your, your smartphone to this. Arroyo and Rosemi for the Mission Valley League Championship. <laughs> I, I uh, they set up the schedule like this on purpose, and they just play in no, Big Ten because they no. don't know what's going to happen. They Last used year, to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and they should yeah. because, you know, these teams deserve it. Last year they actually played uh, more middle of the season. I covered that game. Two years ago I covered this game, and it was at Rosemead. It was Week 10 um, at Rosemead, and uh, it was the same scenario, league championship on the line. Um so, it, it, yeah, I mean, it kind of goes back This is the only one we have in our area was Pure, undefeated against yeah. undefeated winner take teams, winner-take-all. Winner-take-all, yeah. It's, and it's a beautiful thing. These are two rivals, yeah. um, know each other well, um, two of the better programs in the yeah. area historically, mm -hmm. Freddie, two of the most consistent winners. I mean, you just can't say mm -hmm. enough. Um, like I said, I was at this game two years ago, huge crowd at this game. When the Rosemead side, they thought they were driving for a potential game-winning score, they started yelling, Rosemead, Rosemead. It was loud. I mean, real loud. Um, and they lost the game 17-13, but Rosemead bounced back last year to win yeah. the game, subsequently the league. Um, and now here we are. Rosemead's trying to defend its league championship. And this going to get the attention it deserves. The big fella, Aaron Tulegi, yeah. is covering that. That's our you know, Tribune game of the week. Yeah. Uh, and there was a time. Kind of like co-head game. There was a time back, I mean, when I started here, Steve this, uh, I mean, it, where... A little bit. Uh, Every year, these two teams met for the league title. Right. I remember covering. Well, it's pretty uh, much the same. Uh, at at, at, at Royal. And the last time the Mission Valley League's changed. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, South yeah. Elmonte, but, probably the mid 2000s. Yeah. But there was a back at Rosemead named Wolf Payne Barber. Right. One of the names right. I always remember. Yeah. And he was he was the guy for Rosemead. And right. I think a Royal pulled the, it out uh, in that right. game, but both sides of 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 uh, a Royal Stadium were. We're full. So. Yeah, Here, hearing yeah. what I've heard, yeah. the alumni from both schools are, are really, really jacked yeah. for this. Um, and it's well, going to be a great, great well, environment. Check out who we've got going. We've got you going to cover the game. Right. The guru is going to be there because Crispy's season is finished. Good. Go I go. was going to ask Video about that. highlights. Very good. And Mike the Cousin, this game is right up the street from his house. Yeah. He's going to camp at Arroyo. Good so press box. we've got the big triple yeah. threat. I mean, this, this is, game this is, is the press box with the guy that the, cusses. The that, yeah, yeah, you remember? I remember? Remember? He, yeah. Yeah. Is he this doesn't realize his mic's off. It's actually great. Is this at Arroyo or Rosemead? Is this at Arroyo or Rosemead? It's at Rosemead. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the one with the the guy that cusses and sounds okay. like he's sounds like he's sucking on like a tootsie pop the whole the whole <laughs> night and you know um, and takes it out of his mouth only to say you know Smith with a six yard catch and then <laughs> thinks his mic's off and goes Chato get the freaking cord over here you know and so God, all right, it's been anyway. so long since I covered a game at Rosemead you should come to this man it's I think a lot the last of fun. game that I covered at Rosemead is that year that they shot San Dimas in the first round with yeah, you know San what Dimas had yeah. yes yes yeah. you know what that was the last I, I talked to Coach Mark Ferramo from Rosemead this morning <laughs> and and, and uh, he said something um, I said how'd you know it's me man he said he said because you know your number showed up on my phone he said and I know it wouldn't be Fred I'm like. Yeah, Fred doesn't get out there that much anymore. He's like, last time he was here was when we played San Dimas in, in 2008. <laughs> and, we beat that. and they, and they the still finals. remember that. And they went to the finals yeah. and lost so, the actually. Me and Miguel yeah. Melendez went to cover that. Yeah, so yeah. You, you ought to, uh, you yeah. ought to make a, a Freddy appearance out there, man. Yeah. It's, it's a well, lot. We of, can't all be in one place. There's a lot of Sure we can. Why not? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the big one, man. Yeah. Um, anyways, Arroyo, 7-2. and two. They're on a roll since having a couple hiccups in the non-league. And we talk, you know, they played like San Marino. You know, that's forgivable. Um, they're on a roll right now. They've gotten in league, obviously haven't lost a game. Rosemead, same thing. You look at who Rosemead played in that non-league, Diamond Ranch, Bur uh, Burbank. Yeah, tough, um, tough one. It was Burbank or Burroughs, one of the two. Um, uh, San Dimas. You know, they yeah. got they got routed. They got, you know, they had a hard time, but they've won every yeah, game yeah. since. Or was the same way. I mean, you look at their losses. One was to San Marino, and the other one was I to... I can tell you right another, was another... Uh, was it Covina? Maybe I don't know if it was. Uh, no, Arroyo really wouldn't lose to Covina. Who did lose to? It was. It was a. Uh, was this like the surprising loss game? I don't um, think it was. Um, let's get a little quick with that. Aaron. This is like a two minute. I'm drill. trying here, Fred. This should have been on your phone when <laughs> we uh, started. <laughs> uh, Montebello. They played uh, Montebello. Right. Thirty seconds. So they 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 they've, they've lost the two pretty good teams when you look right. at Royal, two league champions. Right, right. They're both yeah. battle-tested, um, and the other loss for um, Rosemead was to Northview. 
So yeah, they're, they're both champion. yeah, they're both yeah. bad, and it was Burroughs yeah. that they played. So that's league champion, league I mean, champion. Yeah. Team. So these teams are battle tested. Um, the question is, uh, can Rosemi turn this into a shootout? Because unfortunately, this isn't the same Rosemi team like two years ago when the game was seventeen thirteen. They're an all offense team, and they're a little bit in trouble on defense. They're allowing over thirty three points a game. Paramo said, you know, he's had a little trouble with his personnel and. And, and he's going to have to really get their best game out of the, of the season no, for them. 33 points a game in league? Not in league. What are they, Overall, what are they allowing season, in league? Um, in league, it's, 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 of course, it's a little better. Um, 17 points a game yeah, in league. I still think 17 points a game allowed in league when you haven't played Arroyo is a lot of points. Yeah, you know, El Monte got to them for, you know, a good amount of points, certainly more than what Arroyo allowed El Monte. So, you know... Arroyo is the favorite coming into this game. Arroyo is a very complete team. I mean, we talk about Steven Nava, the QB for yeah. Rosemead, uh, but Arroyo's got Humberto Pantoja. This is a guy that Singizer and McMillan have, have developed yet another quarterback that turns into, you know, this all-purpose threat. This kid has thrown for over 2,000 yards, 24 touchdowns. Then you look at the rushing stats. He's their leading rusher, I think, by a little bit. Yeah. Nine touchdowns rushing. He's doing it all. Nava, you know, has 26 touchdown passes. Um, he's spreading it out. He's got a good receiver in Jordan Parham. Um, I think this game, really, between these two QBs, the winner's going to be the league what you're, what you're telling me, Aram, is when we do the prep extra so on Friday, yeah. you're going to get here about 11.30. <laughs> These guys are going to both be throwing it, the ball all over the park. Yeah, it's possible. It, it's possible. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that, but it's possible. Um, yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I like Arroyo. They're a thirteen-point favorite on on Cal yeah, Preps when they yeah. crunch the uh, computer numbers. You know, the two teams they lost to, I think they got crushed in, in both of those games. Um, I just like what they've been doing. I've been looking at the the league scores. Haven't been out to see them yet, but I just like what Arroyo's done to the Mission Valley opponents a little bit more than Rosemead has. And yeah. right. that fact that they've been giving up a lot of points, Rosemead, against a Royal team who could just score at will. Aram, I, I, I could see a Royal scoring 35, 40 points in this game easy. The, the, doing to win. the big thing that we haven't given credit to that everyone sees that when they play a Royal, um, and Paramo pointed this out as well, is line play. This is a very good team, mm -hmm. offensive and defensive line play. Not just for the Mission Valley League, Freddie, but actually for the Mid-Valley Division. This will be one of the better offensive and defensive line combos that, that, that make the playoffs in the Mid-Valley Division. And that's why I actually think Arroyo has a shot to make some noise, make a semifinals push this year in the Mid-Valley Division because of the, that line play. They're, they're not going to be pushed around by anybody at all. Um, I got Arroyo in this game. I think Nava's going to make some big plays in the passing game for Rosemead. Uh, but ultimately, I think yeah. Arroyo gets this win. I'm thinking something like 35-24 uh, type game. Stevie, what do you think? Yeah, I, I think just Arroyo has just a little bit too much for, for Rosemead. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Rosemead can, can slow them down. And I think Arroyo is going to be able to slow down Rosemead a little bit. So right. yeah, so something right. like 35, 28, 35, That's exactly 27. how I see it. Yeah. 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 So. No, I don't think either one of these teams are going to get to the semifinals. In the you don't think so? I think the, the league champ, whoever wins this game, will probably win a first round game and the second place team will go out in the first round. But I do like Arroyo in, in a 10 point game, Aaron. I, mean, okay. I, I like him by about 10. All right. Well, we all have the Knights to turn the table and get back on top in the Mission Valley League. Rosemead's bidding to hang on and double up as league champions. Get out there on Friday night. This is a real big one. It's a royal at Rosemead. Enough said.